Oh, no, I was going to say, we had a really exciting weekend. We went to the NASCAR clash at the Coliseum. Yeah. How was it? Was the Coliseum so big enough? Medieval. It, I know. We didn't NASCAR think it was going to be big enough, but we, like, it's so, like, by the time they're making the turn, they're already turning again around. It's so small. So is it a smaller race than normal? Like a yes. Yeah. So, so a normal, no like, uh, a normal race is like two and a half miles usually around for one lap. So, uh, like the Daytona 500, I'm pretty sure is a two and a half mile track. This was a quarter mile. Oh boy. All the way around. Top speed is only like 80 miles an hour. Okay. But you have like 23 cars on the track it was at so once. Tight. You no wrecks. There, there was, was a few, a few wrecks. Okay. Um, but it was so exciting. Just see, I don't know. It just, it, it was so different than any other race, which is, I think what they were going for. They wanted like to spice something up, you know? Make it make it different. Yeah, uh -huh. I think I think they're they're trying to meet a younger demographic for this one. So I think that's why they had it at the Coliseum at USC, and then they had like Ice Cube perform. And oh. I saw Pitbull. Pitbull. Pitbull, Yo, Pitbull killed it, Mr. Worldwide. Mr. Worldwide. Yeah, dude, it was so cool to see him. Was he performing wow. like in the middle? He was before. Okay, cool. Um, but so uh, one of our buddies actually had you a mean box. The middle of the track or yeah, the middle oh. of the track. That's what I meant. <laughs> no, so there's there's no pit crew. There's nothing. Okay. There was no stops. The center of it was just kind of like a you pull in. Like there's there was extra tires there, and if you wrecked, you would pull into the center and wait. Hold for on, the my race ADHD to end. just needs to get this out of my uh, head. Matt was asking if Pipple performed in the middle, and you said no, the end. <laughs> oh no, the, at the, then, like it was in the in the ble like right. in the state. Like, oh. I just needed that to on like, the bleachers. Yeah. Okay. On the bleachers, it was like <laughs> they have this section. Like there's a whole patio section in the middle, uh, in like the middle of the bleachers on the in the Coliseum, and it was like a flat area where under they the had, torch. So uh, did, under did the, the performers torch. stay like in in a box near you or anything? Or they so left? I think they were still there. Um, cool. because we saw Ice Cube when we were leaving. He was in the garage with us. Yeah. Um, but we had a box. Uh, our buddy had it and invited us. And I walk out to our little seats and I look over. I go like this and I was like, holy shit. And it was Ashton Kutcher. Get out. With his kids. And I'm like, what <gasps> the? Was Mila there? Wait. And then Zane? Heath, Heath goes, Zane, no. Zane, don't freak out. <laughs> oh, no. And I'm like, what? Because he didn't tell me who was there yet. Oh, man. And he was like, Zane, look, look. And I see his ash and I was just like, oh my God. Where's Mila? Oh my God, is Mila there? And then he's like, just keep looking. And then you see her just walk <gasps> out and she turns and I was like, oh my God, she's right there. It was crazy. My number one oh, celebrity what'd you crush. Think? What'd you think? Right there. Oh, beautiful. 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 She, was, it, she, was, she was not the box next to us, but like the one over. Cool. So she, they weren't close enough where you'd be like, hey, how are you doing? Because like you could like have full conversations with the boxes next to you. Like it's uh, very open. There's only a bar ne like next to you. But the fact that they were one, one box away, right. there, was no, there was no like way that there was going to be any interaction. Yeah. It was okay. fucking any, sucked. Any eye contact? I think they looked over, but I don't, she, I think she, I think she recognized me because of the picture were, that I posted looking, on my Instagram of me and her. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I think she, um, who I think she recognized me. So guess who was sitting right next to Ashton? Who? Dax Shepard. Get out. Really? Yeah. Whoa. With their in kids. overalls and like a cutoff shirt. Of course. Tattoos they're, just showing everything. They were definitely everything. there for their kids. Well, he's a car nut and they're best friends because they started like on punk. And then we turn the other corner and guess who we see? Who? Charlie and Dixie D'Amelio. <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh. Do you know those TikTokers are fucking huge? They have over Massive. 100 million. I heard Massive. of them. I heard of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. And we then got, I walked, we got to see them. I walked out to go to the bathroom and <laughs> Chuck Liddell was right there. Whoa. I was like, who Holy wait, that shit. sounds familiar. I don't know who that is. Uh, the oh, Iceman. He, he was... sounds like a race car driver. <laughs> Chuck Liddell, come around the corner. <laughs> it does. Uh, really, really famous UFC fighter. Oh. Yeah, it's like the Mohawk. So, oh, um, this was, yeah, I just want to see one lap. Hold on. What's crazy to me is they're doing this quarter mile track in 13, 14 seconds. Oh. Which is crazy when you think about it because that's a quick straight line quarter mile. How long was it the entire time watching it? 150 laps. Okay, but like how long? It's like long? an hour and a half. Okay, all right. So but after imagine, a while, is it like... Well, like, think of the Daytona. Four hours, you're just driving around Well, and Daytona around. 500, I'm going to be like in the trailers in the middle. We like, got to oh, go to I, Talladega. Yeah, oh, that would be We crazy. have to get Insane. an RV. I want to go to another race. Yes. So yes, cool. please. It sounds like it would be boring, but it the adrenaline rush the whole time is insane. The vibrations. And it's the same thing the over and over again, but it's so fun. That's wild. Oh, 
I got to tell you uh, what happened to me. So Heath and I both, we get, uh, so we meet Kyle Bush, right? The, yeah. the driver. He, Whoa! Eminem sponsors him. Right. Like the big brand attached to Kyle Bush, right? So we got to like see his car. We got to meet him. We got to like just hang out at his mm -hmm. like a little spot before he went, uh, before he like raced. And um, he gave us like a, like a jacket, like those race car jackets uh -huh. that had his name and the Eminem's and everything, right? So I'm, I'm smoking the puff, like I have the puff with me, so I'm smoking it and I put it in my pocket, right? And, <laughs> and I, you know those, you know those little bags, little silica packets, silica packets that, like, yeah. that like, yeah. and it's set literally all over. Poison. It says, do not eat poison. Yeah. Uh -huh. So it's in my pocket, but I didn't know it's in my pocket. And I grab my puff and I go, <laughs> and I feel it. I feel I feel a ball just zoom hit the back of my neck and it goes down my throat. Huh? And I was like, "What was that?" And I and I was like, "What the fuck was that?" So I checked my pockets. The bag the had bag ripped was open, open, and one fell down in the hole of the the puff. The puff. Oh! So he sucked it down, and we're thinking he's about to die of this like like all the oxygen inhaled out poison into my body. And, and you live to tell And I was sitting there. He does like. Tell it the puff is gonna kill you one day. <laughs> <laughs> and the puff sure was gonna, but like I, I was fine. I felt fine. But like Imagine pretty that's crazy. How you like go. that's what a way to go. Because oh, we, we as kids, hit. like throughout like childhood, we would see those bags. Like, I was scared, scared to even touch shit. them. Oh, yeah. Dude, I put them on my tongue when I was a kid. Why? Because like they would stick to your tongue and we were like, look at this. Rich kids get uh, bored. Uh, <laughs> and they wouldn't like fall. That was a really stupid thing. But we would just put like one or two on our tongue and we'd be like. You're talking about the pouch or the ball? The, the ball. ball. And then you would just spit it out? Yeah. Wow. That was real. I definitely did that when I was probably six or seven. Well, years. you didn't swallow it, pussy. I, I did. Shit. <laughs> Don't ever do that. Gosh. No. But I know those every time I see those things, I'm like, I can't yeah. believe I did that. Well, I got there. really lucky and I was fine. Wow. Wow. That's pretty crazy. We almost lost you there. <laughs> Dude, imagine we were, imagine we were that's freaking how I fucking died. That'd be insane. Yeah, you know those like silica bags? One got in his body. It was like, wait, what? Your friend died? Why can't they just put a bag of M&Ms in there? You know? <laughs> yeah, exactly. A bonus. But yeah, it was, a, it was a really fun event. Um, Glad we got to go to it. Yeah. Did Respect. you go? No, um, we were trying to we were trying to get the both of you to go. I know. Remember, we were I know, to, we were but you said Patricia couldn't go, so I was like, all right. You know, people say I look like Ashton Kutcher, so I just think that's cr <laughs> pretty cool. It's just crazy. I got that a lot when I was like younger. I can kind of see it. You know, he looks like me, Ilya, and somebody else combined. I remember I used a picture of his one time to take it to my hair cutter, make me look like this. I did not look like when him. When was that? <laughs> Last week. <laughs> I think it was end of middle school when I had my long hair oh, and I was like, I wanted to cut it, and I was like. If I cut it, I want to look like this. Wait, so did you have the picture printed out? Yes. Oh, that's hysterical. Because you didn't have a phone to show yeah, it. Yeah, that's the cutest crazy. thing I've ever we heard. We print the picture out like color <laughs> ink. <laughs> so that'd be expensive. Our parents hate it when we use the color ink to do print you, out anything. Do you remember looking through the book, sitting down? <gasps> yeah. yeah. They would, would just have like only way men's to haircut. see the trendy haircuts. And, and they, they would never would go cut through it. and choose it. And never like, cut I want it. It's always one. some dude from like 1996. And they never cut it like the picture. No. You'd Ask for number eight and you it's got the fucking same cut every time. That's wow. What? Sustainable LA farmhouse. Oh, wait, you know what? I, um, I've seen their, uh, agriculture, architectural digest. <laughs> that's what the, uh, that's what this article is. Wow. That's is. beautiful. What a nice home. That's sick. It must be nice. Damn. See, that's, that's nice. That's that a nice is, that's a, home. that's a beautiful home. That's probably a $25 million home. Looks like, it looks like a fire shit. hazard. Look at those pictures. Wonder, oh my God. Whatever the woods imported from. Damn. Must be nice. Mm -hmm. Wow. Where, where do they, do they live in Beverly Hills? It doesn't look like Beverly Hills. I it looks like it does. That's why I guess. it. in the Palisades. No, oh, it's Beverly. Yeah, Beverly Hills. Nice, Bubba. They're kind of they're a type of couple that you just get jealous about. You look at me like, damn, yeah, I know. perfect they, couple. They do no wrong. I'm happy for them. I'm not like jealous of them. No, <laughs> man. no fun. <laughs> no fun. You can't say anything wrong. I'm now. happy for them. I'm not jealous. <laughs> I don't them. get like you're. I'm not like je like I don't know what their lives not are like. Je not je not jealous of them. Like oh god, fuck. Like, I like, want to be there. You're envious of how perfect the both of them are. Like yeah. he's fucking hilarious and a legend. Oh. Mia, K Mia, M Mia, Mila Sorry. Kunis is just like this awesome girl, and yeah. she's in like. The their best story shit. makes it better how they yeah. yeah they're both on the 70s show and that was like oh. that, that's something they could like sit there and watch together and like just reminisce those days that's what i mean i'm so i'm sorry you should be